welcome to my channel my name is nikki thank you for stopping by yeah it has been a quick minute since i've done a video where i actually talked while i was doing the pour so i don't know how well this is gonna go because i'm a little bit out of um out of out of out of what's the word i'm looking for you guys what's the word out of rhythm out of sync out of something i'm out of something i don't know <clears throat> but um we're going to do hopefully a pearl seal technique um i'm gonna give it a go so i've um already shown you guys the colors that i've selected for this pour and it's very neutral i did throw in that crimson just for a little bit of variety um but yeah i just wanted some neutral earthy tones um so that's what we're gonna do this is a 16 by 20 canvas as you can see, I um, I tried, I failed, I scraped. Uh, such is the story of my life. Okay, so I've got some water and some Floetrol with me. Just because sometimes when you mix up paints um, and let them sit for a minute, they get a little bit thick. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's because of um, just the... the temperature i have my ac on i turned it off for this it's gotten a little bit cooler um which is nice so i can do this without the air conditioner on um so my colors in these smaller cups are going to be thinner than my color in this cup okay so that's the metallic this is the only metallic and it's going to be the puddle color. So I'm not going to include that in the cup when I layer my paints. And I'm just checking consistencies. And, and if it doesn't flow right off the stick, I'm just throwing just a couple of drops of water into it. Um, just to get it flowing like I want. I like using oh this one is this one has gotten thick um i like using paper cups just because they're better for the environment and all but after you mix up paint and let it sit for a minute um the paper cups get a little bit flimsy that's the only drawback but um meh it's not the end of the world right so <clears throat> This is pretty liquidy. Let's check out the crimson. Oh, yeah. That's good. That was the last color I mixed up. So, let's check out the... Hmm, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty free-flowing. And finally, this one. So, let's just... It's got a little bit of consistency. I'm going to put a few drops and stir 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 Woo! i'm a paint pouring ninja okay yeah i like it i like it like that okay um this is uh if you can see it is slightly thicker and that's what i want okay so let's start layering i'm going to layer down the side and hopefully we can get a few layers in this cup. So, wow, it is, um, this is so weird. <laughs> um, today is Tuesday, um, the 13th of October. I have a assignment that's due tomorrow, but I finished early today, so I got to turn it in a day early. I was feeling rather proud of myself, and um, because I finished a day early, I had a free afternoon, and I was like, does that mean I get to paint? It does, so I, um, I get to paint. Oh, y'all see my little cup? It's so flimsy now all right okay so anyway i was super excited because i worked hard and i got my um assignment finished it is the um 
that's in that management 611 class, which is the SPSS uh, statistical um, software. And this assignment was um, a little bit boring, but meh. They're all kind of boring just because that don't interest me. But you were looking at life expectancies of countries, but not current. It's back in 1992, so you can't just, like, Google, you know? <laughs> um, but it was 1992 life expectancies, and you had to find correlations between certain factors um, that lead to higher or lower life expectancies in countries and regions. Um which here is a fun fact for you, which I didn't know before I did this. And it's, it wasn't just true for that, that assignment. This is actual fact that the higher a country or region's life expectancy is, the lower fertility rates are. And the reason is got to do with the fact that women, um, Countries with higher life expectancies uh, tend to have um, more women in the workforce, so they have a higher GDP, um, and so the women are not staying at home, and so they're not having um, they're not having children as often. So there's a we call it an inverse correlation between life expectancy and um, fertility rates, which seems kind of backwards, right? You would think that, that the more, the, uh, the higher your GDP, the more money a, an economy has, the more children they would have, but it's, it's backwards actually. Um, so yeah, I thought that was, was really interesting that I discovered that and I was like, hey, you know, if I don't learn anything else in this class, at least I've learned that one fun fact. Um, so there's your bit of random useless knowledge for the day. Um, oh, I have good news. So I mentioned in my last video that I was a little bit, okay, I was a lot, but I was trying to not be a lot because really what's the point? But I was upset because I did poorly on my exam in finance and it just... It, you know, that's not okay with me. And um, <clears throat> so we have a um, Microsoft Teams. It's kind of like a virtual classroom, um, but it's not in our classroom setting. Our classroom setting is on Canvas and um, Microsoft Teams, anybody can use it like a business could use it or something. It's, it's a little bit like Zoom, but not, I don't know how to explain it. Obviously, I'm doing a very bad job at explaining it, but anyway, <clears throat> you can post these polls in, um, in Microsoft Teams. So, they posted a poll for people because our grades don't show up so that we can see a class average or whatever. It's in a different program. But, um, okay, I'm going to set this to the side. Um... We did a classroom poll, and like 79% of the class failed that test, uh, which um, is a lot, okay? And I'm not saying that our teacher didn't do a good job. I actually really like that teacher. She's very, um, she's very entertaining, and she does teach. I mean, she teaches. We have kind of um, Zoom meeting kind of things every other week. So she teaches us. It's just, it was really hard. But anyway, because so many students failed and they were having so much trouble with the proctor in service, she's going to give us the exam again. We have the option to take it again. So I get to study and prepare even more and take it again and hopefully do better the second time than I did the first because, yeah. And she's like, you don't have to take it if you don't want to. I'm like, oh, no, this is like a lifeline. I have got to take this exam. So my weekend's going to be kind of meh, but... um. It, it's fine because it'll be worth it. Um, definitely worth it. So, what we're going to do is, let's see. Um, let me get one of these little, 
I'm going to get one of these little spongy brushes and I'm just going to dip it in and, and do a light coat over it. Just, um, I don't even know why, just maybe it might help with the flow. I'm not sure. Um, because I'm not going to put, I'm not going to put a base coat down. So I'm just going to take my puddle color. This is my puddle color. That's what we call it when we're doing this technique. Um, I'm going to take my puddle color and I'm going to smear some out. It's like the best stress relief in the world. So, <clears throat> oh, they came to work today and, um, did flu shots and I was not going to get one but I was like mm, uh, I might as well and dude I've gotten flu shots before and they have not felt like this it was awful it hurts so bad like somebody punched me I don't know if you can see but they put this little thing, can you, can you guys might not be able to see, but they put this little thing and it's got like this, um, almost mesh kind of thing. And then they put that on first and then they put the needle through that and it was a long needle and oh my goodness, I, I got water in my eyes. Like it was bad. And I was like. That hurts, and I'm not a wimp. I mean, I have 50 million tattoos all over my body. I'm not a wimp, and I'm not bothered by needles. It's just, it hurt. <laughs> I felt like somebody punched me. <clears throat> and then I got, like, a really bad headache, and um, the lady told me that happens sometimes. Like, you'll feel kind of peeny a little bit. Um, so... I was like, well, you know what? I do not have time to feel puny. I am a busy, busy person. And ain't nobody got time for that. So I might take some vitamin C or something. I don't know. Um, I'll have to ask Missy. Missy is a nurse, so she knows everything. <laughs> I just say, I don't know. I'll have to ask Missy. She'll tell me what to take. All right, so I got my puddle color down, and I'm just going to pour it in. Now, normally, I'll just pour straight or do a ring pour, but I think I want to do in this kind of like that um, all over kind of thing. Um, and let's see what we get. So I do need to start in the center, though, but then I'm going to move around. And these colors are fantastic, y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to move around, but I'm going to try to be mindful not to be too high up um, because I don't want it to go through the metallic and make it come up in the pour. I want it to come up because of the effects. So, if you go too high up, it will make this color go up like that. It'll make that noise, too. <laughs> okay all right so now i'm gonna switch it around and i can already tell i prefer this portion to this i don't really like this so if i get rid of excess i want it to be this so i'm gonna move in a circular pattern and see how i rolled my top paint over the uh, metallic and i'm just rolling 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 so now I'm going to come and we're going to pull this away because this is my least favorite portion. And then I'm going to pull back. We're going to pull this away. Yeah. Come on, come on. Then we're going to go and hope that this works. I haven't done one of these in a while, so my fat might not work, but I still think it'll be a pretty pretty fantastic piece even if the effect doesn't work
Here it. I'm starting to see some metallic pop through. It may be a bit subtle. Um, and because I poured off this, the portion where my right hand is, because I poured off of that last, the, the cell formation tends to be less at the last place you poured it out. So I am trying to pull it to the center, but it's just, um, it's just the mechanics of things, basically. Now, I don't know how well you can see it up there, but there are pearl cells forming, and it's that metallic that's uh, pushing through. So, it is working. Now, I'm going to mention this. For a long while, it was kind of, um, kind of thought that this effect would only happen with um, satin enamels. Not satin enamels, dear Heavenly Father. Um, with extreme sheen. Now, I have succeeded in getting this effect with um, products that were not Extreme Sheen. In fact, this product wasn't Extreme Sheen. It was Deco Art, um, but it wasn't Extreme Sheen. Let me see if I have my bottle right here. This is the Dazzling Metallics. Um, so, this isn't Extreme Sheen at all. Um, you can also do it with the... Um, well, I'm running my mouth. I'm going to torch. Uh, you can also do it with the um, the Premium Ultra Bright Metallics from Michaels. Um, it's, I think it's a Craft Smart line. You can do it with a lot of metallics. Now, I've not had good luck with the Artist Loft metallics, the ones in the tube. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, metallics such as this, where it says, like, this is metallic cobalt blue. Y'all, this is a beautiful color, by the way. It would have looked stunning in this but um these ones i've not had good luck with doing this effect but aside from those ones now i've not tried it with my arteza um and that might be something that i try next but aside from those you can get this effect if you get the weights of your paint right you need your um puddle color to be a metallic um to kind of get that um that contrast but once you once you get your consistencies right and and it's just a matter of physics really it's it's gravity um you got these um denser paint underneath and it comes up through this this less dense paint um because as i mentioned in the beginning my dump colors, and this is in essence a dump, a dump and swirl kind of, but we're layering our colors, um, and we're using that is called pearl cells because normally it's used with the extreme chain. That's why, but I mean it's the concept of all these pearl cells, dump and swirl, whatnot. The concept is you have a heavier paint on the bottom, a lighter paint dumped on top, and when you stretch it thinner. The heavier paint comes through now I'm not a rocket scientist and I can't tell you why it does that except I know it's something to do with density and probably chemical makeup because it does best with metallics I've never succeeded in getting a non-metallic um, to work in that way as like just say I have a non-metallic dump color and a non-metallic puddle color even if I get my consistencies right, I still can't get it. So it's it's got to be a combination of density and the metallics. Um, but I can't tell you anything beyond that. As far as my, my knowledge is not that um is not that vast in it. But um I can see a lot of these cells, and of course, the more you torch it, um, the greater the reaction that you will get. And I can see there's a nice cluster going on here. There's even a few in this area, but uh, probably from this corner around to right about here. And you and you guys seen that that's how I dumped it last. Um, the it's very limited, and I I expect that. And it's rarely, rarely you've got to be like brilliant at it to get a uniform amount of sales 
um, around all the edges. You can do it. It's just um, a lot of times it's down to luck more than anything. And the closer you get to the center, the less your cells are going to be because you have more paint, more of that dump color um, in the center. So you have, um, you have more resistance pushing that metallic down. But this is, this is really nice. I, I, I paid close attention to the consistency of my paints to make sure they didn't get too thin. Um, so, um, yeah, this is going to dry well. I can already tell. I do wish I had thrown a, a really stark contrast like that blue would have looked fantastic instead of the crimson I think that blue would have just been like um but but if if I had thrown a metallic in it could have detracted from the little metallic cells that are coming out so that's the reason I didn't put another metallic in I know that these colors are all very similar and on a on a kind of the same spectrum but that's what I wanted I wanted cohesiveness and a lot of like just neutrality um, so that was intentional it was supposed to be subtle I, I think um, this is what I had in my head I succeeded in creating what I set out to create um, so I'm happy with it very very happy with it um, I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'm going to let this um, meld probably will take me about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and do some close-ups of the wet results. Um, and then uh, we'll see um, if I'm patient enough to post this video till it dries. Um, with the weather getting colder, it takes it longer to dry. So I might post it without the results, the dried results. I don't know I don't know you guys I don't know <laughs> anyway all right so we're gonna let this meld and I'm gonna clean up okay so it's been a little bit I've cleaned up my mess um and I'm gonna show you guys the close-ups I want to show you these edges how these um cells are forming And it's like that all the way around. Um, but obviously I can't reach all the way around. But I'll show you. Um, as you can see, our little metallic pearly cells are popping out nicely. And um, yeah, they're just hanging out and being cool. And um, as you can see, this area is a little less intense. But still, there's, there's a fair few. And come in this area and some bigger ones down here. Yeah. So that's it. Um, I I think I want to go ahead and post this video just because I was just kind of excited to do a talk through while I'm actually pouring. So I hope you guys don't mind if there's no dried results. Um, but this is not going to change much. There'll be more cells form, but as far as like the overall composition of the placement of the swirls and that kind of thing, um, it will stay the same. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you're staying healthy and safe wherever you are. Um, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.